U.S. Air Force funding new technology to reprogram human cells for a type of a miracle healing. James Tweedy, Sputnik News reports, Professor Indika Rajapaskia's team is working on using proteins called transcription factors to activate and deactivate genes that govern cell specialization. One application could be a spray-on bandage that converts tissue in open wounds into new skin. The U.S. Air Force is working with scientists at the University of Michigan on a new space-aged healing technology that involves retooling cells at the genetic level. Now, okay, we also, we were talking about the time where we're having the mRNA and COVID-19 vaccines, and there are many who think that this mRNA can change the human DNA. But these, these, these uh, scientists here are saying that, yes, this technology will deactivate genes to change them. Now, the research aims to take already differentiated human cells such as skin, muscle, or other tissue, and they will switch off and on the key genes that control their specialized roles. The eventual result could be that a burn victim's cells could be reprogrammed to grow new skin, or a patient needing a transplant could be growing a new organ. Normal healing of battlefield injuries could be sped up by a factor of five, according to the researchers. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Indika Rajapask, Associate Professor of Computational Medicine and Bioinformatics and Associate Professor of Mathematics at Michigan University, received U.S. Air Force funding for a new live cell imaging microscope. He said, we have the resources to do this and it's our obligation to take full advantage of them. In cellular reprogramming transcription factors, proteins that control the expression of genes are used to change an individual cell's fate or ultimately place a role, play a role in the uh, complex system of the human organism. The U.S. Air Force has also funded work on improving a complex computer algorithm to help Rajapask's team identify useful transcription factors. One theoretical application of the research would be a spray-on treatment of transcription factors applied directly to an open wound to convert exposed muscle tissue to skin cells that would heal up to five times faster than normal treatment. U.S. Air Force said in a statement, however, identifying which transcription factors make the required changes to create the right kind of cell requires a long process of trial and error. Now, well, who will they use this trial and error method on? I'd like to know. This is by James Tweedle on Sputnik News.